President, um, thank you so much for the opportunity to speak to you. It's very rare. Uh, we, we, we all know that. But uh, you brought us it's here It's a today. privilege for me to talk to you. Thank you so much. Well, likewise. <laughs> President, we, 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 we are here and you, you called us in for this big day where you show what you've been showing us once again. Uguti Mutsepe Foundation will always give, but today it was bigger than usual. It has doubled 150 million rand, um, and you did justify it if it was justification that uh, money is not the real reason um, because you are used to money and you will give money to the needy because God has blessed you. God bless you for that. Thank you. President. Yeah, but the other thing is I also said, we're trying to teach our children. Yes. Again, you can't have a country where rich people will live in comfort and luxury side by side with uh, with the poor and marginalized. So, so you know, it's it's um, if if you try and um, create hope and give future because you believe in it, that's fine. But if you don't believe in it. Uh, it just it just makes common sense that uh, let's we should create a future for everybody because that, that's uh, uh, that's how countries and societies uh, grow and succeed. Otherwise, you've got civil unrest and civil uprising. So, uh, but but other thing as well is I'm what I am because many people have helped me as well. Eh? over many years. Uh, so, anyway, what is your question? <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my question is, I've, I felt Uti, it was half answered. If we can go back to it. What was the question? Um, about the reason why you don't stop giving as Mutsipa Foundation and why have you brought up around, I mean, your your your, your other sporting code, uh, like your netball, yeah. as well as adding musical part into Listen, it. We all love music. Let me say two things to you. Uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> what is our track record going to look like as the Mutsipe family? And, and uh, uh, the people who, who, who form opinions and make judgments on, on, on our track record, it's not ourselves, it's, uh, it's, it's ordinary people. And, and they have to make whatever decisions and uh, conclusions they deem appropriate. But, you know, I, I, I have no doubt that uh, I've been uh, uh, immensely blessed, I've been immensely uh, uh, helped and assisted. And, uh, and, and I saw, that's what my father did. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the issue is not Patrice Mutsipa contributing 150 million rand. I think uh, what, is, what is more significant is the, the, the many poor people, and usually our grandparents and grandmothers who, who, who make donations to other family members, and that assistance they provide denies them of having meat, or uh, it, it has a huge impact on, on the way they live. You know, we, we donate 150 million over the next five years, uh, which, which is our duty, we, are, we have to. We have to make humble donation and contribution, but you know, uh, m my life will continue, and my family's life will continue. So uh, uh, it's it's uh, I, I can guarantee you I'm no better. You know that's why when you ask me this question, I you know it's it's uh, it's not. Uh, I don't think we as a family are, are any better or deserve any special recognition. I think uh, there are many many people in this country who actually uh, make much bigger contributions and much greater sacrifices than we do. It's just that we are clear, <laughs> you know, we have a clear duty and a clear obligation and in a very humble way we've got to try and give back and we teach our children, just like my father taught me, you know, and, and uh, they have to continue. Remember, we are part of the giving place that, that, that was started by Bill Gates and Warren Buffett and we meet. We work with all of these families all over the world. And we also get inspired by countries where there's a giving culture. South Africans are a giving people. President, there's, there's one thing that you've said before. We were in the same room yeah. when you appointed as a CAF president. And when I personally asked you about what happens then to sundowns, you said your son will take care 
of the club assisted by the board. Kopi has been good at sundowns. The team has been doing well. He has brought in a young coach. Uh, coach Ran is in charge. I know they'll say I shouldn't be touching on sundowns. But what do you make of his leadership at sundowns as you watch from a distance? What have you made of Chairman? Well, well l l let me say two things to you. Uh, and this is crucial. Uh, we love football. We are passionate about football. But football is not the significant part and should not be the significant part of what our focus as a family should be and is. Our focus as a family has to be on uh, the poor, the unemployed, the marginalized, uh, because, because those people have to, get, have to have a future. President, you're dodging. No, I'm not dodging. I'll come to you. <laughs> and, 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 and I mean this very seriously. Because if they have a future, copy and them have a future. I mean, I'm, we are old men. You know, so so uh, so I'm just saying, you know, football does not football does not and should not uh, classify or be what the Mutsipe family is known for. I mean, there are other families that have that have made much much more significant contributions, much much more. I mean, Kaiser Mutawu is has made huge contributions, and and you know we are. We don't come anywhere near uh, the, the, the immense uh, contributions and sacrifices he's made for South African football and, and Kaiser Chiefs and, 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 and Irvin, uh, Dr. Irvin Koza, Dr. I, Dr. Kaiser Mutau now, beautiful, and Dr. Irvin Koza have also made big contributions. So, so the point I'm trying to overemphasize is the Mutsipe family should not be equated to football. The other families who are much... Let me give you another example. In politics, I don't want to mention names, the other families that are... And of course, we don't want politics. Eh? Politics are safe food. Forget about politics. But I'm talking about in business, for example. Uh, there's Dr. Sam Mutsuenyani. There's various other families. So you've got to look at the role of the Mutsipe uh, family as really... Uh, uh, my father was my inspiration. And, and he had succeeded immensely. And so did my mother. But, uh, you know, uh, you, Lionel Messi equals football. Uh, you can say so about other people. I want us to avoid thinking that uh, the Mutepe family equals football because we don't equal football. We love football. We are passionate about football. Our mind doesn't operate when we think about football. And we love music as well and, and, and other issues. But. But we've got a clear understanding that our primary duty and focus is on... Listen, you can't have football growth and success in a country of poverty and unemployment. And of course, uh, I'm not saying that... Uh, uh, I mean, you know, we've got so much to, to be confident and to be proud of as a country. So, you know, I'll answer all the questions about football, but uh, uh, football does not... It's not the identity, it's not what the Mutsipe family is all about. The Mutsipe family has to be about philanthropy. It has to be about the duty we have to, to give hope to the unemployed, the, the poor and the marginal. And that's, that's our focus. Uh, when they write my obituary, they're not going to say he was president of care for... I mean, those issues are of, of, of really... <laughs> of secondary report, they're going to say, this man was successful. What did he do for those who were not uh, as, as fortunate and as privileged as he was? That is the test. That is the issue. So, you know, and that's, that's why I went into football. We, we see football as a tool, as, as an instrument. And I'm trying to, you know, uh, this is part of the message on the African continent, and some of the people say, "Oh my you know, uh, you know, we love you so much, but focus only on football." And yes, there are times when we have to focus only on football. But if you look at the most successful football nations in the world, those are the nations where there are opportunities and, and education and resources and skills, and people's standards of living are improving and increasing. Mr. from my side. Um, obviously, 
you're giving away a lot of money here yeah, and <laughs> there must be surely there must be some mechanisms as to whether this money is not wasted because no, no, that's very important that, that's, uh, very, that's, uh, that's critically issue. important and also uh, very, very another important. issue how impressed have you been with Rulani uh, since he took over? <laughs> Rima, I'm president of CAF eh? so you should ask me I love uh, Zwane at Kaiser Chiefs I love the coach of Orlando Pirates I love him immensely <laughs> I love Rulani in that context. I love the coach of Amazul, all the coaches. You know, I consciously... You see, we are looking at this football as a means to bring our people together on the continent. Of course it's about winning and succeeding, but as a fundamental, bigger objective. Because that, the growth and success of that fundamental, bigger objective, the, the socio-economic upliftment of Africa, greater cooperation, greater unity amongst the people on the continent, that will immensely contribute to the success of, of, of football on the African continent for both male and female. And safeguarding the money, so it is not wasted? Oh, yeah, safeguarding the money. You know, uh, uh, you know we, we made a commitment of 30 million in KwaZulu-Natal, for example, for the floods. When they came back and gave us a report, we spent much, much more than that. And, uh, and I'm sad to say, maybe I shouldn't say that, but one of the instances that they're investigating is where we paid millions for water, and our people didn't get the water. But they got the money. So, uh, so some of those issues are being looked into. You see, let me tell you the South African media. Listen, I was born in this country. And uh, yeah. as president of CAF, my duties with the 54 countries on the continent. But I do recognize that I've got a, a very emotional connection with South Africa. And, uh, and, and you know, this country, and I, and I can tell you what I say throughout the continent, South Africa should be one of the top, top football nations on the continent. Absolutely. The talent is there, the resources are there, the skills are there. And, uh, you know, and that's why uh, encourage all the stakeholders, SAFA, PSL, schools, football, Department of Education, Department of Sports, to all work together. And part of the aim should be, you know, South Africa in the next World Cup should be, if Morocco went to the semi-final and various others did very well, we're very proud of them and we should aim to do the same. So, so what I'm saying in conclusion is that you know, uh, I'm, I'm, the Department of Education, I'm happy that NG is doing good work. And, uh, but the test is, you know, I was amazed when they showed me the names of the players, eh? I mean, whew, who were seen at the Kemutsipe schools football. So, uh, uh, we'll keep an eye on making sure that the money really makes a difference. Uh, let me just give him a chance and I'll come to you. Thanks, thanks, I know you touched on it um, sometime last year. Any update on, on the proposed uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very, very exciting. And we'll be making an announcement in due course. There's lots of discussions taking place. The problem we have at this stage, as I said, is, you know, we, we are starting with 24 clubs. There's going to be some announcements that we'll be making. And, uh, and we've got about double the amount. And, uh, and there's some big football countries where the, the quality of club football has, hasn't been what it has been in the past and we're trying to encourage them uh, because those are proud football nations. And remember, the, the school, when I leave CAF, I'm going to be judged by, okay, this is where African football was when you came in, where is it now? And, uh, you know, I, uh, uh, I come from the business world. Uh, my shareholders say to me in business, uh, we, we buy your shares because we want you to make money for us. Where's the money? So the same test is going to be applied in football. I mean, you are the president of CAF. Uh, sh show us quantifiable, tangible success that has taken place. And, and we don't have time for smooth talking because it's like in football. When Bafana Bafana plays, they score goals. If you score goals, we win. If you hit the bar, the crossbar, and you know you, 
you stand on top of the football and the score is zero, 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 zero. So we are judged by results, so we need to deliver results. Take into consideration uh, your relationship with uh, the relationship with the organization with the Department of, of Education. And now that you have uh, added other another body coaches that go to the like yeah. And also uh, girls and boys. Yeah, and, and that's just that in the near future going to add more and more sporting coaches. I mean, like I know that for where I come from. Very, very important. Where I come from, other kids wants to. Engage. Now, where do you come from? Mahikeng. <laughs> oh, Mahikeng. Yeah. Well, let me tell you. Many years ago, we go to East, East London, mm. and we go to Mtanzani. There isn't a place in the world. A uh, one place uh, uh, township that has produced world champs, boxing champs, like Mdansani. As a South African, you have to be proud. So, so what we do as the Mutsipe Foundation, we have to be guided and respond to what the, our people see on the ground. The girls say, we love netball, so we have to be at netball. The young girls say, but why do you only give football money to boys football? We are not involved. So we start girls football at secondary school and primary school. Music, we love music. Uh, but not just, you know, of course, this has to be with choral music. We love all music. Mpatanga, Kwaito, all of these things. You might start singing choral music and then Ukarbon Samasholo, Uzangeji music. We want to encourage you. We love music. Yeah. And we are, we, you know, we are investing in music. Yeah, when we brought uh, yeah. Beyonce and Jay-Z, it's because we love music. Sorry, continue. So, my point is like, sporting coaches, like... Um, Tell me which one should be considered. Golf, Swimming? Golf. Ah, golf, okay, I want to tell you. But they do want to. You know, not a You know, I can't even... Uh, and I say this seriously, we, we consistently engage. My son plays golf and I don't even know how to hit this thing, you know. And why rata? So if, if, if there's a huge outcry for golf, for swimming, for whatever, we have to look at it. And we will. Okay, uh, one thing Sizwe says is the last question. So I'm lucky one to ask. No, we'll, to, we'll take two. Okay, okay. Yeah. I thought maybe because you come from the Yellow Nation, I would be the last one. <laughs> Okay, our president, um, you, you have said it, that you want sports or our, all our people to come together. But what's your main, main objective of all these sponsors? You have sponsored football, you have sponsored Mami Road Sundowns, you have done all this. What's your main objective? What do you want to see in your lifetime? Well, you know what I'd like to see? Uh, I'd like to see Bafana Bafana. And I'm talking in South Africa now. And, and that message I give all over the continent. I mean, imagine if Bafana Bafana was in the semi-finals of the World Cup. But these things take time. I mean, I'll tell you, in business, there are some people who know how to make money overnight. I can't. I don't know how to make money overnight. You know, everything I do takes time. And, and sometimes the things I do, well, you know, uh, there are challenges, there are problems. And sometimes, you know, it goes up, up and down. So what I'd like to see is... Uh, is, is uh, and we're doing the right thing. But the thing that we know is from history, we've learned that as long as you're doing the right things, over time, the results will come. And don't get discouraged because uh, you know, you've initiated a process and you cannot see the success of what you've started. It's schools football. If we focus on schools football and allocate the resources and the structures and the facilities that we should, South African football will be will be amongst the best, not just in Africa, but in the world. As I said, look at rugby. We've invested in rugby. I mean, we, we are joint controlling shareholders uh, in rugby. And we'll ask, but why do they win the World Cup three times against some of the best nations in the world? Part of it is schools rugby. Strong history, tradition. We've got to do the same. Uh, and, and if we do that, I can tell you, I mean, we, we'll be proud. <laughs> We've got to be part of, of history, man. We've got to be part of a legacy. And it can't be Mutepe made another million, another 10 million, for heaven's sake. You know, there are the, the things that are significantly more important and more meaningful for a nation, for a country, for a people. And, and those moments of glory and inspiration, when we feel like, 
South African coaches, a South African team has succeeded at the highest level in the world. And of course, as president of CAF, I've got to say, a Nigerian team, an Egyptian team, a Kenyan team, a Moroccan, an Algerian. Okay, one other question. Yes. With the, the scope of politics happening in the country, 2024 <laughs> is coming. After your tenure as CAF president, are we seeing you coming as an independent candidate to become the president of SA? Yeah, remember what I said? I mean, I tell you, it's incredible, man. People, people like me should stay out of politics. Because you see, once I get involved in politics, I've got to run for votes. And I've got, to, I've, I've got to position my message in a way that people will vote for me. And some of the things are, uh, it's politically popular, but it's not in the long-term interest of, uh, of the country. But George Weah would not, would not support that you say you've done your part, you don't even have to. Yeah, but the other votes. thing as well is that there are, better, the, 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 there are many people who are better than I am, who will make better politicians than I, than I ever could. So I should support them. Listen, let's have fun whilst we are together. And, and, and one other, another question? Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It's a very good question. But you must see where I come from. I was born in Orlando. My, ma my mother uh, is from Orlando. I was born in Orlando. But you know, we are, the family is from, is from Pretoria. And, and, and that's why uh, you know, I, I had such a privileged upbringing. Uh, you know, you, 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 and that's why when somebody spoke about the townships and the rural areas and the poor, I mean, you know, th those communities and those environments are what inspired me and shaped me and influenced me. And, and I mean, and that there's nothing that gives me greater joy. There's, you know, last year we went to Polokwane, we went to Skukuni, we went to Ngungunjov, we went to Nelson Mandela Bay. And you sit in a meeting with thousands of people and we talk about what are we going to do for schools and what are we going to do for the churches and the religious organizations. I can tell you, you know, uh, that, that, that gives me joy. That, that immensely. And, that, and I can tell you that there are many people in this country, it's just a question that you ask, who, 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 who also give. They don't, they don't get the recognition or the attention that they deserve. But there's a lot that we should justifiably, justifiably be unhappy about. And there are lots of problems in this country. But we should never, ever give up on the people of this country. I mean, this country has got incredible, incredible, a caring, loving, uh, uh, talented, and, and that, that's, what, uh, that's what gives me inspiration and many of our, many of our people. But again, yeah, you know, uh, we've gone past the days of talking. You know, you want to see these things, and 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 we believe that together, uh, we got a bonus when in in football because Morocco made history. It's never happened, so that's good. Uh, and what happened, what Morocco did, should inspire all of us. I mean, you saw the way to Derby, beautiful. I mean, uh, eighty thousand people. I shouldn't say this, but when I grew up, there was no Mamelodi Sundowns. So don't ask me which club did I like. I know. No, don't don't, don't, don't say that. I know. No, no, you shouldn't say that. We know. <laughs> we used to go to the stadium as little boys, and I shouldn't. You know, I tell you, one day uh, we left Pretoria, and and uh, there was a there was a a, a, a football match, and I, we went to Barra, and I saw people. I think I must have been eleven or twelve, and we saw people at the hospital, and I thought to myself. You know, there's the Soweto Derby today. Uh, we came specially for the, for the Soweto Derby. And, and in your mind you said, I mean, everybody should be there. You shouldn't be, if you, if you are sick, you'll postpone it and go to the hospital tomorrow. <laughs> but that, that's, that's a time when, uh, you know, we, it was, it's part, we should maintain those things. You know, I, I, I um, during the World Cup, 
I'm in Cam during the last year. I'm in Cameroon, and uh, whew, you know, and I've got a big escort, but there's about a hundred thousand people who, who can't get into the stadium, and the stadium is full. And you know, I've got police and army people that are telling people get out of the way, and they say if it's football, you know, better you must shoot or do whatever. But the point I was going to make is. As I'm sitting in the car, I'm looking at the houses because we, we can't move. And I tell you, the Cameroonians absolutely love football. I would never have had that exposure. I mean, went house to house to house. The whole family was transfixed, you know, watching football. And usually when you have these escorts, you go fast in, fast out. So in the midst of, you know, that moment of saying, Phew, uh, the president is supposed to be at the stadium and he's stuck in the traffic. But you, you learn and see how much the people in Cameroon love football. I know how much the people in South Africa love football as well. It's, it's, it's more than just what happens on the field of play. Thank you so much. It's been an honor and a privilege.